Hey there, it is April 21st, 2020. This is Logan Connect from Piano Gym with another feature update. I do these feature updates as a way to demonstrate how the product is growing from week to week, month to month where applicable, and, and really just show some cool features as it's kind of forming. Uh, one of the things that we talked about last week was the teacher dashboard, the curriculum editor, making a flashcard set, and true and false flashcards, which were all very exciting. Today's going to be a bit of a follow-up on that where we talk about playing sheet music in flashcards. Uh, let's get into it. The first thing you're going to notice here is that this is the public-facing website of Piano Gym. Uh, you can go here yourself if you're interested, and we are more than happy to have you sign up and try it out. For me personally, I already made an account that has some test data available, so I'm going to log in and just go straight to the learner dashboard that we know and love. When you get to the learner dashboard, you're going to see the same information that's usually there, flashcard counts, uh, area to reorganize the enrolled material, and the teacher dashboard button. I just want to demonstrate real fast that this is an available school where you can enroll, you can unenroll, you can do whatever you want, think about it, unenrolling, and, and go from there. Uh, what we're really focused on this time is actually content creation. So let's go back and go to the teacher dashboard. Uh, specifically, when we talk about content creation, we are talking about something like playing flashcards with sheet music in them. And to do that, we have to go to our curriculum editor. The first thing you'll see is I have several wonderful schools up here. We're going to create a new one, and we're just going to call this the best school ever. And in doing so, we're going to create it. Now, uh, one thing that you should know is that every school needs sheet music in order for flashcards to play the sheet music. Uh, it's not very hard to make sheet music. So what you want to do is you want to go to your resources, sheet music section, and then create a new sheet music. The one we're going to do re right here is create Mary Had a Little Lamb, which is the, the piece that I have available for uploading. This is going to be right on my desktop. We're going to open it up. We click submit. And now we have sheet music. And one of the coolest things about this is that you can see the sheet music in context. And I'm going to step away from the mic real fast just to demonstrate how this plays. <laughs> and you get to see this in context. It's really cool, right? You upload the music, and now you can play it. That's just absolutely wonderful. Obviously, this isn't a flashcard, so the next step here is to make a flashcard set. We're going to make the best flashcard set ever, because why not? We deserve it. And now you're back at the flashcard editor. It's it's really exciting. So let's, let's take a quick moment to just step back and talk about it. We made a bunch of contacts with a few clicks. We supported taking an arbitrary sheet music XML file for upload. And now we can turn it into a flashcard with just several clicks. It's a super amazing user interface. Um, and so how to make a flashcard next is you create a flashcard, you click play sheet music, and you can select this flashcard or this sheet music that we just created. It's fantastic. And even better, when you select it, it shows it in context. You can still do this whole playing this sheet music in context with the whole sheet music. It's, it's awesome. It's great because as a teacher, you're going to be able to look at it and say, well, you know, maybe, maybe I want the whole piece of sheet music or part of a piece of sheet music. And this is where I'm going to blow your mind. Let's say we just want to do the first five measures of Mary Had a Little Lamb. If you look at this, we now have the ability to specify where that ends. And you can see that the first five measures are supported here. But maybe we don't want that, right? Maybe we want to do measures five to ten, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a couple bugs here, so please bear with me. But the point stands, when you want to make a flashcard set, all you have to do is click this Create Flashcard, select the sheet music, select the appropriate measures, and it works perfectly, absolutely perfectly. It's super simple, it's easy, and it's, it's wonderful to do. So the next step is to submit this. We, we make this flashcard, it's available now, and, and when you select it, you can actually view it as well. It's absolutely wonderful. It's one of the greatest tools that are going to be available to teachers who want to use our product is this idea of playing a sheet music and actively editing it in real time to be played 
when you want. It's it's very powerful. It's very exciting, and I'm I'm really excited to do it. Uh, the last thing I want to wrap up on is kind of demonstrating how this workflow will work. Uh, we don't have the ability to make courses or lessons yet, but the next follow-up step would be to create a course and then a lesson and assign this flashcard set to a lesson. So we, we don't have the means to do that right now, but what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate by enrolling in a couple of other courses how this is going to look like from a learner perspective because you just click enroll and then you go back to your dashboard and you start this review system where it says, hey, you have some new cards. You just start learning it by drawing it. And now you're dropped directly into making practice efforts. Super easy. And it's done. You don't have to worry about it. It's wonderful. This is going to be great. The next step is making uh, some courses and some lessons and assigning flashcard sets. And then the full loop of this product is done. So how cool is this? This is a, a full product. Let's let's recap. We we logged in to a public facing website. We unenrolled and enrolled in different schools. We created a, a, our own school. We uploaded our own sheet music and we were able to test that directly in the context. We then made a flashcard and that flashcard let you play subsections of that available sheet music. It's super amazing. This is going to be so cool for teachers to use because of how fast it allows you to iterate through content and create learning material. So we have uh, a lot more flashcards to create. We have some bugs to fix, obviously, and we're excited to do it together. But most of all, thank you for watching, and I'm, I'm hoping to show you some really cool material in the coming feature releases.